Now we'll look at a few of the historical ideas around this topic. Aristotle, Galileo, and Newton, obviously three important thinkers in the history of science. Aristotle's idea, which was not correct, was this. He said, objects tend to move to their natural place. Objects tend to move to their natural place. And natural place was Aristotle's idea, or one of the fundamental concepts that he had from which his theory of motion came. Objects tend to move to their natural place and stop. So rocks, for example, their natural place was down, so rocks go down to the bottom and stop. And fire, its natural place is up, so the flames leap up into the air. And the, the things that are burning, like the sun and the stars, are up there. He didn't really understand motion at all the way we do. Now Galileo's idea, which was partially correct, was that objects can continue in their state of motion. And he imagined a boat on the water. So let's draw a sailboat here. And if you have a mast on, on the sailboat, So your sailboat might look something like this. And if you climb up the mast and drop something from up on top of the mast, so let's put a person up here. And you hold an object out right there and you let it go. Well, if you're holding the object, over say this spot on the boat when you drop it it's going to fall down and hit that spot on the boat in other words the forward motion of the boat is imparted to the object as well so the boats moving forward when you release the object the boat doesn't move out from under the object causing the object to land back here the boat is moving forward but so is the object and they both continue to move forward together. And then as the object falls, it continues its forward motion. So it stays above the same place on the boat the whole time. And then it hits the boat right below the point above which it was dropped. Now Galileo understood that and he, and he got that right. And the idea that he got right was that an object would continue moving forward. This thing up here at the top of the top of the sailboat mast is moving forward so it continues to move forward. What he got wrong was this. Galileo realized that the earth was round. And so if you imagine your boat up here and he realized that because the earth is round the path of the boat is in a circle. It's moving in a circular path. And he realized that the moon was orbiting the earth in a circular path and the boat in a sense is moving around the earth in a circular path. Even though it doesn't go all the way around, it's moving in a circular path. And Galileo thought that objects naturally moved in a circular path. And that was not right. He was, he was correct in thinking that an object that is moving continues to move. So the object up here continues to move forward along with the boat. But he was incorrect in thinking that an object naturally moves in a circular path. So we'll write this down. Galileo thought Galileo thought that objects naturally moved in circles. So he was right in that the objects move. If they're moving, they continue, they naturally continue moving, but he was wrong about the shape of the path. And then Isaac Newton. Newton's idea, which was correct, was this. Moving objects tend to continue moving in a straight line. So write that down. Moving objects tend to continue moving in a straight line.
So building on Galileo's idea and essentially correcting this important detail. An object that's moving tends to keep moving in a straight line.